So I already applied my primer and foundation off cam to save some time and now I'm using these two LA Girl Pro Concealers in the shades Light Ivory and Porcelain. I like mixing these two shades because I think it gives me that perfect shade. So I'm just going to apply that on the areas I want to conceal slash brighten and then I'm just going to blend everything in with a damp sponge. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Contour Stick and I'm going to apply that wherever I need to contour. I like using this whenever I need my makeup to last for a longer period of time and I think this glam makeup look is a perfect time for it. So again, I'm just going to blend it using that same sponge that I think I really need to clean. <laughs> Anyways, I'm setting that in place using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And after that, I'm using my Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder to set the concealer using the baking method. So I'm just going to apply that wherever I put the concealer a while ago and now I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm taking this Mary Kay eyebrow pencil that I actually got from Salad Box. So anyways, I'm just going to do this usual routine of outlining the eyebrows, filling them in, brushing them in place, and then using this K-Palette liquid eyebrow thing that I still don't know the name of. Just to mimic some hair strands and after that I'm setting everything in place with some eyebrow gel. I'm now brushing the powder off my face and then I'm taking concealer to outline my eyebrows so that they will look more on fleek. And next I'm taking my e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the lightest shade to set the concealer in place. After that, I'm taking this shade of brown and applying it on the crease to act as a transition shade. Next, I'm mixing these two shades and applying them again all over the crease to intensify the look even more. Now, I'm taking a lighter shade of brown and just applying it all over the lids to act as a base. Next, I'm taking the shade called Factory from my Naked 3 palette and applying it on the outer V to add more dimension to the eyes. Next, I'm taking the shade called Liar like Pretty Little Liars and applying it all over the lids to add some shimmer. Next, I'm blending everything once more and applying all the shades of brown under my eyes. <laughs> Now I'm going to line my eyes using the Hyper Ink Liquid Liner. I know I'm not the best at doing cat eyes, but hey, at least I tried. And I'm also using that to put on the lower lash line. And if you make a mistake, then just use a cotton bud. Now I'm taking my Benefit Their Real Mascara and applying it on the upper lashes first. I love this mascara so much and now I, I just applied some fake lashes and applying mascara again on the lower lashes. I'm taking the two lightest shades from my Naked 3 palette and applying it on the inner corners of my eyes, blending the edges of my eyeshadow and I'm taking this black eyeliner to tight line the lower waterline. And finally, we're done with the eyes! Now I'm just reapplying the contour because I think I lost some contour there when I did my eyes for a long, long time. And then I'm applying this blush from Everbelena. I forgot to show it on cam, but it will be found in the description box. Next, I'm taking my sleek highlighting palette and applying highlighter to add some glow to our faces. And finally, down to the last step, I am applying some red lipstick. Um, this lipstick is probably the first lipstick I, that I've ever owned and I'm not sure if it's still safe to use it, but whatever. <laughs> and now I'm just setting the makeup in place and we're done with the look. But that is it for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.
If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me.